Good evening. This is All India Radio Kohima. I am Zajunya Mehta with the evening news. First day headlines. Prime Minister Narendra Modi meets President Ramnath Kovind and briefs him about security breach during Punjab visit. Punjab government constitutes two-member high-level committee to prop security lapses during Prime Minister visit. Department of Animal Husbandry and Veterinary Services says African swine fever resurfaced in some parts of Nagaland. And RT-PCR test kit for detecting new coronavirus variant Omicron developed in India. As India marches towards administering 150 crore vaccine doses against COVID-19, news about the new corona variant is a cause of concern. We appeal to our listeners to get fully vaccinated and help others, including children between 15 and 18 years, get vaccinated as nationwide 19 vaccinations of teenagers is underway now. Please follow these three simple steps. Wear a face mask, maintain six feet for social distancing, focus on hand and face hygiene. For any COVID-related information and guidance, contact national helpline numbers 011-239-78046 and 1075 and state helpline number 1800-345-0019. And now the news in detail. President Ramnath Kovind met Prime Minister Narendra Modi at the Rashtrapati Bhavan today and received from him a first-hand account of the security breach in his convoy at Punjab yesterday. The president expressed his concern about the serious security lapse. After meeting the president, Modi in a tweet said the president's good wishes are always strength for him. Vice President M. Venka Naidu also spoke to Prime Minister Narendra Modi about the security lapse. Naidu expressed deep concern and hoped that stringent steps will be taken to thoroughly adhere to established security protocol and ensure such a situation does not happen in future. Punjab government today constituted a two-member high-level committee to prop the security lapses during Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit to the Ferozpur yesterday. According to an official release issued by the Punjab Chief Minister's Office, the panel will comprise Justice Retired Metap Singh Gill and Principal Secretary of Home Affairs and Justice Anurag Verma. An official spokesman said the committee will submit its report within three days. Department of Animal Husbandry and Veterinary Services has informed the general public that an outbreak of African swine fever has reoccurred in some parts of the state. The department said test reports of samples submitted from Longjongkong and Satir villages under Mokchung districts and Kuzatu village Wazeho block under Peg district has tested positive of African swine fever. The department has requested the public, pig farmers, traders, butchers and other stakeholders to remain cautious and report any unusual mortality of domestic pigs to the nearest veterinary office. An RT-PCR test kit for detecting new coronavirus variant Omicron has been developed in India in partnership with Tata MD and the Indian Council of Medical Research ICMR. Briefing media in New Delhi yesterday, Director General of ICMR Dr. Balram Bhargava said the testing kit has been approved by the Drugs Controller General of India. He said this kit test will give results in four hours. Nagaland is among 17 states to receive post-devolution revenue deficit, PDRD, released by the Finance Ministry today. The state received 379.75 crore rupees. The ministry released an amount of 9,871 crore rupees to 17 states. This was the 10th installment of the PDRD grant released to the states. So far, an amount of 98,710 crore rupees has been released to eligible states as post-devolution revenue deficit grant in the current financial year. This news comes to you from All India Radio Kohima. You can also listen to this news bulletin on news on AIR app and YouTube channel AIR News Kohima. To commemorate the celebration of 75 years of India's independence, Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav, we present India at 75 quiz with AIR News Kohima, a special quiz on India's freedom movement and its glorious history, every Thursday in the evening news bulletin. And here goes a question of the week for English news bulletin. When did India conduct its first nuclear test? I repeat the question. When did India conduct its first nuclear test? 
Listeners can send their responses to the question to our email airnewskohimaindia75 at gmail.com or WhatsApp to 9485239950 along with name and address. The first correct answer received from the participant will be selected as the winner and will be announced in tomorrow's morning news at 7.30 a.m. Government is killing India's youth and making them job ready for the requirements of the global market. Launching the pilot of Nehru Yuva Kendra Sangatan NYKS Youth Volunteers Online Training today, Union Youth Affairs and Sports Minister Anurag Thakur said the global supply chain, services sector, and economy as a whole has immense potential to hire young, educated, skilled manpower. He said India is developing a huge resource of skilled manpower to cater to this demand. He added that not only that, the government has also built a robust ecosystem that nurtures startups and encourages the entrepreneurial spirit amongst youth. Talking about NYKS youth volunteers training, Thakur said it will help in development of their skills as volunteers to enable them to serve the nation with utmost commitment. A total of 2,630 cases of Omicron have been reported in the country so far. Out of the total cases, Maharashtra has reported 797, followed by Delhi with 465, Rajasthan with 236 cases, and Kerala with 234 cases. Union Health Ministry said till now 995 people have recovered from the infection. More than 19,000 recoveries in the last 24 hours have increased total recoveries to over 3 crore 43 lakh 41,000. A total of 90,928 new COVID cases were reported in the last 24 hours. Daily positivity rate is at 6.43%, while the weekly positivity rate is 3.47%. Health Ministry said 325 deaths were reported in the last 24 hours. Nagaland today reported a spike of 31 new cases of COVID-19, taking the total confirmed case load to 32,247. Dimapur reported 13 new cases and one in Kohima. 17 cases were detected from self-test or random, 9 cases from among the travelers and 5 from the armed personnel. On the other hand, 5 recoveries from Dimapur have added the tally of recovered cases to 30,382, while one death was reported from Dimapur, adding the COVID casualties in the state to 687. At present, there are 82 active cases with a rise of sample positive rate to 4.58% from 0.86%. Sustainable Development Goals Coordination Center, Planning and Coordination Department declared the winners of Green Christmas Contest 2021. The three winners of the contest are Lungin Lei, Nsang Bini Hamtsoi and Soren Penny. The department said the winners of the contest will be contacted individually for the award. A free mega surgery camp for cleft lips and palates will be held at Oking Hospital and Research Clinic, Wakima, from 16th to 18th January under Smile Train Shija Cleft Project Mission Nagaland. Director of Oking Hospital and Research Clinic, Dr. Vigaton Kesizie, in a press release said patients should get themselves registered at Oking Hospital and Research Clinic, Wakima, one or two days ahead of the camp for necessary examination. For further details, one can contact Oking Hospital. Hospital Kohima at 2290080 or Smile Train Shija Cleft Project Infall 9436869799. And to end the news, here are the headlines once again. Prime Minister Narendra Modi meets President Ramnath Kovind and briefs him about security breach during Punjab visit. Punjab government constitutes two-member high-level committee to prop security lapses during Prime Minister's visit. Department of Animal Husbandry and Veterinary Services says African swine fever resurfaced in some parts of Nagaland. And RT-PCR test kit for detecting new coronavirus variant Omicron developed in India. And that is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night.